All right, guys, so we're gonna start off on something a little bit different altogether with this guy. This is a frame from Leisure Society. It is possibly one of their most renowned, at least it definitely gets the most traffic and attention on the website, just by the name. This is the Cambridge from Leisure Society. This is one of their pure titanium frames. Very, very nice. We're gonna dive into the details of why this one is so, so nice, but we'll get there. For starters, if you're new to the channel, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button down below and just go ahead and hit the like button too because I promise you will enjoy it here and it helps support the channel. Then we can continue to do these incredible reviews on really elusive and exclusive pieces of eyewear within the industry, both sunglasses and glasses, tips of how to take care of them and keep your glasses looking and functioning their best. But today we are going to focus on this little guy the Cambridge, one of the beautiful designs from Leisure Society. If you're not familiar with the brand, I definitely recommend diving into and checking out that. They all come with this beautiful little leather case, nice little mint slash teal detailing, and a very good, generous size cleaning cloth. And of course, their little booklet thing there. I'm not huge on that. I love the boxes. They're nice. But what we care about here is this the frame itself. So the Cambridge is one of their pieces that is a true solid titanium. This is what you get in their higher end pieces. These are gonna be around the thousand dollar price point and beyond for the full titanium frames. What's really cool with these, and we haven't seen it in a lot of frames in a lot of years, is a true enamel finish up here that just has beautiful detailing throughout. And you've got your nice little star logo there. These give me a really cool kind of an old Western vibe. Very timeless, very classic. It's just a shape that has been around for a very, very long time. It's really, really well done. What's really cool, I know, I'm gonna keep saying really and cool and all this stuff. You've got your little key detailing here, literally a key. I meant key detailing when I said a key because that is the key into the Leisure Society club. Yeah, that's their thing. What that amounts to is a registrable frame and access to all sorts of really cool things. We're not going to get into that too, too much because we care more about glasses here, but I care more about glasses here. Let's see if we can get this to show up here. You can see it a little bit. There's some really nice attention to detailing on these laser etched into the titanium before that 18 karat finish is applied to just carry that design that I was pointing out earlier within the enamel on into the top of the frame, etched all the way around. It is all the way around the rim of the frame, not just across that top edge. Beautiful detailing, even in the nose pads. I believe these are ceramic and then 18 karat plated. I'll have to check on that. They could be titanium as well. Yeah, I'm going with titanium on those. What's interesting with these, we don't see a whole lot of spring hinges at this caliber of product. The reason for that is typically spring hinges will fail. They have a set lifespan, a set number of times they can do that before the spring hinge is actually done. Finito finish, you have to replace the entire pair of glasses or pay just uh, probably more than some of the glasses cost in order to get that replaced. Don't mind me just checking the alignment of this frame as I'm going through and doing the video. Isn't that always fun? But the spring hinge on these is actually something I haven't seen done in many, many years. And that is, it is a truly rebuildable spring hinge. You can't tell it quite on camera, but you've got your mounting point here to where that can be all pieced back together. The overall feel of it is really, really nice. There is a good, I told you, I was gonna keep saying really in this video. Somebody's gonna count me out on how many times I said it. <sighs> I'm sorry. Now, the spring hinge here. Very, very nice. See, I changed it up on you. Very nice articulation. It's really smooth. It's got that nice luxury feel. Kind of compare it to, I had a Chevy for a few years, Camaro Z01, not your average Chevy by any means. 
But after largely driving BMW and Porsche, sticking with the German manufacturers these last few years, it was a uh, stark shift in contrast and overall construction. While the car performed incredibly, there were some little nuances and details that weren't quite up to that caliber I was used to. You shut the door, it has this specific and nice sound to it. You shut the door on a Camaro, this sounds like the tin can Firebird I owned 20 years ago. Not a bad thing, I loved that Firebird, but it is not at the same caliber. Performance, of course, was on par, and in fact, better than some of those other cars. That's what I'm saying here. You get a whole, whole lot of performance, overall design and thought process in these frames. I mean, there's even just a little stripe over here. It's racing stripe, maybe? No, probably not, but it is a very beautiful detail. All of these are serial numbers so they can be identified and registered for any of your warranty concerns as it is with Leisure Society. They are all lifetime warrantied. If anything does go wrong, as I mentioned, you have that revealable spring hinge. So even if that fails, that can be taken care of. All handmade in Japan, which means of course, the thought process and the detailing truly comes to life, not just from the designer's eyes, but in the quality of craftsmanship. Really nice piece there. I had to throw the really back in there one more time after that little rant about reallys. So let me know your thoughts on these, what you thought of this frame, this review itself. Give me your feedback down below and uh, I'll catch you next time because that's all I've got. The Cambridge, it stands on its own. It's just a beautiful piece. I'll have the links down below, of course, if you want to grab your own. We'll get there. We'll make it work. <laughs> I'll catch you guys next time.